provide the ending day of the news. Now, so far, there has been a lot of interesting stuff. Um, there was a school bus flipped over and crashed. Over dozens of students were in the bus. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Five of them had a rush to the hospital. But thankfully, no one was hurt. There was a van that... So, the school bus was um, driving. The van hit... Like, it hit the school bus. The school bus went driving. The wheels started moving and flipped it on the side, skidding across the road. Um... A massive earthquake in Phil in the Philippines, seven dead and more than two hundred and two injuries. Now they think it's because of the um what was it called? Something it was a fire wall or something like Ring that. of Fire. Ring of fire that must have caused the earthquake to react. Um, Nash. Uh, uh, the ring of fire is, it's the circle of the fault zone circle that they live in. It's not an actual fire. They just call it the ring of fire because of the lava that comes from earthquakes. So basically what I just said reacts. Well. Okay, go ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mike L Little... The or the one who started Little Caesar's Pizza, thank goodness, has died. I'm pretty upset. Tiffany's gonna be upset. Everybody's upset because Little Caesar's is a great place. Um, the rocket booster test is going to be happening in next week, and they're hoping it will it will go successfully so they can start. So they can start launching um, the rockets back into space because they did, they haven't started launching them because of last September. Um, National Security Advisor um, was calling to a Russian organizer, right? Yeah. And talking religious? Or was it something like that? I forgot. Well, it calls into question. The guy wasn't a national security officer when he was talking to the guy in Russia. It, he was technically a civilian at the time. Mm -hmm. But it, they're saying it's sketchy because Trump, he knew he was going to be put in the national security advisor's position. Obama had put sanctions on Russia because of some of the hacking things that Russia did. And what they're saying is he never should have talked to the Russian people before he became the national, because it was off the books. There was no record of it because he was a citizen at the time. I didn't really get that part. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't understand it. Because I'm still totally fine. Yeah, it, it, it was very... Anytime a, a... Inauguration? No, anytime a, a government employee or security or, or stuff so talks to a foreign country, um, there are certain rules and regulations of what's got... It's got to be recorded. It's got to, there's got to be witnesses and things like that so that under-the-table backwater deals don't get made. This falls into the category of people are accusing him of that because he was talking to the Russians, but at the time, he was, technically, he was a civilian, mm -hmm. which just makes it even more sketchier because he was trying to get it done while he was still legally able to do it. Yeah, I didn't get that part. Yeah, that, it's, that was one of the it's, and it's a lot more complicated than that as well, too, but go ahead. Um, <sighs> let me see on the agenda. That's it. So That's far it. The agenda that I got. And, uh, I mean, there was a happy story in there. Could have at least told about the happy story. Remember the Tim Tebow? What Tim Tebow? Tim Tebow. He his foundation did um, homecomings for um, uh, handicapped people. Oh yeah. 
There's there's, there's happy stories in the news Sorry, too. Actually, it's like it goes really really fast. They talk really really fast. Okay, well, so you watch the news for five days. What is your impression of the news after five days of watching it? What do you think about like, the news? I think the news is good to inform people about what's going on around the world. So it would be nice to know what's happening and what's going to happen. Like the weather, the um, interesting stories. And I like how they give like thorough details about it. Okay. Anything else you want to add about the news? Also, there were illegal immigrants. They found the tunnels of where <laughs> they have been coming through. Oh, I... the tunnels. So the, the drug sm smugglers that come through the tunnels to spread out. Uh, are there, is there any more of your personal thoughts on the news channels that you want to do? We're, no. we're done with the stories, no. is it? No. Okay. All right. Goodbye. That was day five. Done.